Hey kids, welcome to another week. So good to see all of you. And this week we are talking about helping out one another. And uh, I know there's sometimes there's projects, maybe you do chores around the house, uh, maybe things at school that you need help with. And sometimes it's you are the one that's needing help and sometimes someone else is, is needing, needing some help. So we got a couple great stories for you about helping one another out. So let's uh, do some worship and then we'll see what Miss Leah and Mr. Aaron have as well as Ali. When all around me is 
Hey, Miss Leah, what are you doing over there? Well, Thanksgiving is next week, so we have a fun craft to make this weekend in church. Wow, it looks like there's a lot going on here. It looks like it's going to take you a long time. Yeah. With some help, I could finish faster. Do you want to help me? Hmm, I don't know. Will it actually help you go faster? It will. Because two people working on it goes a lot faster than one person working on it. Wow. Did you know that Ollie has a really good story about somebody who needed lots of help building a wall? Really? Yeah. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Spread your wings. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Okay, Stormy Jane, this is a really big stick. It's really heavy. Do you think you can get it? Okay. Go fetch. Oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie and today I'm playing fetch with my best dog, Stormy Jane. Can you get it, Stormy? Is it too heavy? Oh, your friend Pepe is helping you. Thank you, Pepe. It's good when friends help, especially when you have a big job and you can't do it on your own. In fact, that reminds me of a story. Do you guys want to hear a story? <laughs> okay, great. This true story from the Bible begins with a city wall. That's right, a very big, big, big wall that went all around the city of Jerusalem. The wall was there to keep people safe. The wall had been there a long time and had started to get old. There were so many holes in it that it did not keep the people safe anymore. It needed to be fixed. This is Nehemiah. He used to live in Jerusalem. When Nehemiah heard the wall had holes in it, it made him very sad. Everyone show me your sad face. Yes, very sad, just like Nehemiah. Nehemiah wanted to do something about the broken wall, so he decided to fix it himself. But he was just one person and the wall was big, big, big. Nehemiah couldn't fix it all by himself. He needed help. On the count of three, everyone yell, help. Ready? One, two, three, help. Listen, do you hear anyone coming? 
<laughs> Yay! Lots of people came to help fix the wall. They all got to work helping on different parts. These people fixed a gate. These people worked on a tower. And these people fixed this part of the wall. There were lots of people and everyone helped. The people worked and worked and worked until one day, the wall was finished. Everybody celebrate, hooray! <laughs> Nehemiah was thankful God had given him people to help him fix the city's wall. God is good. Oh, hi, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who is good? God is good. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is good? God is good. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. Wow, Miss Leah. That's so cool. More people helping with the project makes it go by faster. Yeah. So did you want to help? Sure I do. Hey, Pastor Steve, do you want to help us too? Sure. Get on over here. Okay. All right. How can I help? You take these and you cut them and then you can come back and finish this for us. Okay, great. All Thanks. Right. Well, kids, as you can see, we all need to pitch in. I need to help. You need to help. Mr. Aaron, Miss Leah, we're all helping. And with different projects, the more hands involved, guess what? The faster it gets done. So maybe this weekend when you're helping out around the house or your mom asks for help around the house, instead of being like, ah, do I have to? Maybe say, okay, and you jump in because you know what? If we all help, it gets done much faster. So I'm gonna start cutting my leaves out and uh, we'll uh, see you guys next time. Hey, Mr. Aaron. What? Did you know we have been practicing this memory verse so hard this month? Really? I, I think we could do it super speed. Let's do it super speed. Ready? Okay, ready? <gasps> Give thanks, thanks to, to the Lord, Lord for he is good. Psalm 107 1. one. Oh. Yeah, that was pretty good. One more time? One more time. Okay. Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord, Lord for he is good. Psalm 107 1. one. Got to do the little motion right there Next because time. we were going so fast. Hold your Bibles. All right, we have uh, one more weekend. One more weekend of this. Yeah, and then next month we learn a new verse. So keep practicing this one.